All right, Shalom. First off, we want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, the great millstone, and Shalom to the Akim out there preaching his word, truth, sincerity. So this video that um, we're making is going to be on on tights, pretty much, you know, giving alms and giving tights, which you are required to do, you know, as being part a part of this body, a part of the ministry. You know, there's plenty of scriptures that go in on that, and we're going to get some going into to giving tights and alms. All right, yet, yeah, uh, you know, I was we and the brother was talking about it earlier. Earlier, you know, like in our camp, I'm the um, I'm pretty much the treasurer or whatnot. And I just, I, you can see that, like, that spirit of, like, Jake, you know, it might not be intentional sometimes, and then some brothers need to be reminded sometimes, yet, it's, I, I'm sure it's, it's that spirit that's out there in other camps as well, you know, where brothers are not given tights, you know, mm -hmm. and that's the point of me making this video, because the spirit was just on me to talk, to um, want to make a video on that, you know, because that's, that is a big part of being in this truth as well. As well as doing the work, you know, following the statutes and commandments, you hey, you're commanded to give tithes as well, you know, tithes and alms. Mm -hmm. All right, and it's, it's brothers out there that's not doing that, you know, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of brothers that's not doing that, man. Yep. All right, and you wonder why you're in a predicament that you're in, or why you catching more hell, or you know things ain't going too right for you. Well, maybe more than likely that's why, you know, because you're you're not you're holding back from y'all by shem y'all shy. Here it is. He he uh, he gave you a roof over your head. You know, if you got a decent job, he gave you a job. All right, he's sustaining you, giving you your daily bread. You can you got extra money to go splurge if you want to do that. Yet instead of taking that extra money you do have, and first and foremost, before you spending your money on anything, really should be giving the, your ten percent to tights. Yep. You know, cause I'm like I'm pretty. I know for a fact that you know every brother out there that has a job, even if you are kind of tight on money. You spend the extra money on other things, you know, mm -hmm. outside of your bare necessities, which which is um like bills and everything else that has to be paid, you know. All right. Yep. And 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 that's um that ten percent, you know, that's going back to our forefather um Abraham, you know, mm -hmm. who who paid uh ten percent of his tithes to what uh, uh, uh Melchizedek, you know, which if brothers can receive it in the spirit. Is um Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. okay, you know, and and, and <clears throat> that is pretty much a, a, a how do you say a tradition mm -hmm. and a commandment that we have uh, carried on within our nation, you know, mm -hmm. and, and 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 that's the that's the least you can pay, you know. Yeah, exactly. The rest, the rest can be you know your out of your free or out of your free will, will you know, yep. additional. Additional offerings, you know, it could be a penny, you know, the Apostle Tahar goes into this uh, periodically when he touches on the tights, you know, mm -hmm. it can be as small as a penny, it can be uh, any, it, it can scripture be, that I got right here going to go into oh, okay, that. come on, it's a lot, yeah, yeah. no, it's good, <laughs> this is Tobit 4 and 8, if thou has abundance, give alms accordingly, mm. yeah, that's right, so the more that you have, you really should be giving even more so, you know, if you don't, don't sit here and just be, you know, like a nigger, you know, you got, you, here it is, you say, like, just as an example, here, let's say you're making, like, uh, like, like, 8K, you know, a month, right? 8K or 10K a month. And more than likely, all your bills, you know, uh, don't come up to that much, all right, for most for most people, right? So let's say you, let's, this is just an example. You make it 8K, and you just give them the bare minimum, like, 10% of 8K, which is, like, what, uh, 800 and you can you're you're able you're able to give more or so, yet you're just choosing to give that very little, the bare minimum, which is ten percent. Hey, if you have abundance, you're supposed to be giving your alms accordingly, man. Don't just be sitting there trying to just do the bare minimum when you have more to give. Hey, give more. You mm -hmm. know? It says so right there in the scriptures, man. Alright, to give accordingly. If you have abundance. Alright? So you should be really giving more than the next brother who has who has less money. Alright? Mm -hmm. Continuing on, if thou have but a little, be not afraid to give according to that little. Going into what you were saying, you know, even if you don't have a lot, you can hey, just give a dollar, you know, yeah. you can give whatever you have to offer because that little that you're giving is better than giving nothing at all. Yep. You know, it says to be not afraid to give according to that little. So don't be ashamed if you're coming up to like, 
Oh, I ain't, like, you know, I ain't, I don't want to look bad because I'm only giving a dollar. Hey, man, don't don't worry about what, how men look at you, all right? You should be worried about how Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is looking at you because he sees what you're giving, you know? And if you're giving nothing, he sees that, that you're giving nothing. So don't expect to receive anything back when you're not you're not giving anything back to the Heavenly Father, man. Because mm -hmm. the tithes ain't going, it ain't going to, like, a, a specific person, man. No, this is all for the body, man, all right? And this is really what you're supposed like the scriptures say, this is something that you're supposed to be giving regardless, man. You know? Sweet. And then the more that you give, the more you're going to receive. Simple as that. You know? Mm -hmm. and, but continuing on, it says, For thou layest up a good treasure for thyself against the day of necessity. And when all hell breaking loose, all right, all that, all the um, alms and everything, the charity, the, all the good works and everything else you were doing, hey, man, that's what's going to be keeping you against that day and he's uh, um to to keep you against that day of necessity man the lord's gonna be looking out for you because you were doing everything that was required of you all right including giving alms man all right because like i said that f i just feel like me personally i just feel like that's something that's probably going on in a lot of camps where brothers not giving any any money when they do have something to give yep. and that's really that's that's going off man you're, if you if you feel like that's cool to not give anything when you do have something to give man that's that's really going off man all right, because you're supposed to be given something according to the scriptures, and then here it is. You wondering why things ain't going good for you? you might have something that you thought was gonna work come through for you, and it ain't come through. Hey man, that might be the reason why and stuff ain't coming through for you. All right, because you're not doing, you're not giving back to the heavenly Father. But here it is. You want to start, you want to try to be making more money when well, you're not even giving any money right now. Yeah. Or you wondering why yeah. you you like you you struggling this and that. When you you don't even give nothing to the heavenly father, you just keeping every all the money you make, you keeping it to yourself, hoarding it, not giving it back. That's right. And um, yeah. I got two more verses. Okay. Okay. A verse, verse ten, because that alms do deliver from death, and suffer if not to come into darkness. So this giving alms protect keeps you keeps you protected, man. Delivers you from death, man. And there's nothing but death out here in America. All right, you see that the government shutdown still going on. The day of day, um, the day of Jacob's trouble is on the way. All right, so you want to be delivered from all of these things, man. You should be that. Sh you should be given alms, man. On top of going hard in this truth in the spirit, man. All right, verse eleven, for alms is a good gift unto all that give it in the sight of the Most High. So in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man, that's what you should be worried about seeing you whether you're giving alms or not. Alright, because he's ultimately he's keeping the tab on you every every week week by week going by where you ain't been giving nothing. And he sees that you actually have have things to give. Alright, forget about brother seeing you because we don't know how much money you got. We don't know what's in your bank account, what's in your wallet, how much you making every week. Yeah, we're not Jake ain't the apostles, the elders, brothers are not pocket watching Jake, alright? We don't be hitting brothers up, hey, I know you got this job and you make this much. Mm -hmm. Alright, no, nah, man, the Lord knows, alright? Brothers know that you ain't paying tight. Yeah, that's for sure. Ultimately, the Lord knows that yeah. you ain't paying tight. You, yeah, you know, you know you ain't paying tight. You ain't. Yeah. You, you're not paying. You're not paying the minimum. All right, and you, you're not even thinking of a a a just a. You got to cover the minimum part. We were talking about how at least pay ten percent, and you can you can even pay a, a however however much your heart desire over that. You know, it says if you, you. if you have abundance to give more. So yeah, if, you you have do, if you do have more, you should be giving more. Yeah. If you got it, you know what I mean? It's supposed to be really the Lord put you in that position to what? To, to further uh, uh, fund the body. Yeah, to feed help the, the body. body. Yeah, aid the body. Because that's really what it's for. Because we're all one body. And that's part of us. That's part of giving to the body. Yeah, they're saying we don't have, we're not, we're not funded by Esau, the government. We don't have no 501c3 charter. All right, this is all through, this is all funded through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, mm -hmm. by Hashem Harakah Kodash. You know, I got a quick precept if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Just going into like the brother you just brought out about the um, you know, just giving a little that you have. Mm -hmm. I wanted to bring out an account, you know, of of a, of a woman that did that did that. You know, this is uh, Saint Mark, chapter twelve. All right, and um, I'm gonna just uh hop right to uh, verse forty one. All right. Uh, so this is the same Mark twelve and forty one. 
and Yahweh Shai sat over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury and many that were rich cast in much. See, just like in the, in the Tobit, it was yep. saying the more that you have, the more abundantly you have, um, the way it said, the more abundance that you have to give accordingly. Mm -hmm. So, and, it's, and that's just showing you right there that the rich, they cast in much. They didn't give, it didn't say they cast in a little bit. They cast in much because the more that you have, you should be giving more. Mm -hmm. That's why you're in a position where you're at. You have more to give more, man. Yep. Not, not, not on it. Exactly. Not just to hoard it up and keep it for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. It says, um, um, and many that were rich cast in much in their, uh, verse 42, and there came a certain poor widow and she threw in two, two mites, which making a furthing. And he called unto him his disciples and saith unto them, Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow have cast more in than all they which have cast into the treasury. Mm -hmm. For all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. She cast in all that she had, even though she had nothing. Yeah, she had little. She had little. And she still gave her last mm -hmm. to yeah, the Heavenly Father, man. Uh, through faith. Through faith. Yeah. I believe, I, I truly believe, you know, that that, hey, that you are the Hamashiach, that this is the truth, mm -hmm. all right? And I'm going to receive seven times mu as much as I'm giving yeah, to the yeah, Lord. straight up. You know, whatever I'm giving, I'm going to receive back way more, whether it's in, in actual money or just the Lord increasing you in faith and wisdom. Yeah. And he really going to give you all, really. Really, it should be, really, our, your mind state should be what, it should be naturally, you know what I mean, doing the right thing, yet... Mm -hmm. Hey man, uh, I I will hope I hope to have my like we said I hope to have my debts for getting given. Yep. All right, like we said, like it's in the Lord's prayer. I hope to be uh I hope to be covered by the blood of, of the Lamb. Yeah, I was shy. Mm -hmm. You know, I hope to have mercy bestowed upon me. I hope to be spiritually increased in knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Yep. You know, the spiritual riches, man, not the carnal ones. Mm -hmm. You know, that was that, yeah, that was the point. All right, so I want to jump to uh, Tobit 12 and 8. Yeah, this is Tobit 12 and 8. Prayer and good is good with fasting and alms and righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than much with, with unrighteousness. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold. So like we was mentioning earlier, instead of you hoarding the money and just sitting on there, you got all this extra money. Instead of laying it up, it's better to give alms, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's nothing going off to where if you invest the money and all that. Don't get me wrong. Yet, like the script, the other scriptures we have brought out, the men that have more money, you should be given more. You know, you don't have to give every last dollar you have. Yet, you should be given more at the same time. You know? Yeah. And um, continuing on, verse 9, it says, For alms doth deliver from death, and shall purge away all sin. Hmm. So if you want to be forgiven for, you know, because we sin, we sin all the time. We're still in these bodies. We're not perfect. We strive for perfection, yet we're in these corrupted bodies, man. Hmm. So we tend to go off here and there, man. Yet, giving alms is part of, part of us being, um, purging away our sins, man. You know, among praying, fasting, all right, going out there doing the work. Hey, alms is another way of purging away sins, man. All right, and uh, just one more section, okay. and um, it says those that exercise alms and righteousness shall be filled with life. Hmm. So you're gonna be filled with the Holy Spirit, man, because that is life. Yep. No. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna add, like it says, um, in uh, in Galatians, you know, the same that you sow is the same way you reap. Mm -hmm. All right, if you sow in the spirit, you know, all right, even giving your uh. Giving your your carnal riches or towards a spiritual a spiritual gain or or, or spirit you know towards the truth you know mm -hmm. towards the body all right ultimately towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai you're gonna mm -hmm. reap you're gonna reap spiritual gifts man because really giving alms is a spiritual investment yep yep because you investing in the spirit well, they say store up your uh, uh your, your treasures, treasures in heaven, heaven. Mm -hmm. and that's what you giving alms for basically you that's part of you storing up treasures in heaven man. Right. To reap in the spirit. It's not mm -hmm. about reap, like the brother said, it's not about you giving money just because you want to hope that you make more money back. No, you giving money 
because you want to reap the benefits in the spirit, man. Mm -hmm. By growing in the spirit, by because it said it just like I just read in the last half, those that exercise alms and righteousness shall be filled with life. You're gonna be filled with the spirit more. Yep. All right. And you know about how you know brothers they can see that. All right. When you give him more, it's it, it's made, it can be it's made evident through the spirit, man. Cause like that's just clear as day right here. You know, you're filled with life. You filled with the spirit because, hey, the Lord rewards you openly, man. Yeah, my God, grab it. Yeah, you can grab that. Yeah, this is, um, same Matthew chapter six. I'll start from the top. You know, it says, "Take heed that you do not your alms before men." And be seen of of them like it like says, to, uh, to be seen. So like it. Okay. It says, "Take heed that ye do not your arm your arms before men to be seen of them." Mm -hmm. You know, like like these dudes do in these harlot houses, these churches. Yeah, they had to pass the hats around, or they go up forth and just like just you know um, um, um make it known that they're dropping a check. Or like these nigga do um any so called um how do you, what do they call these. You little charity events and shit. Yeah, These yeah. These so-called right, celebrities, they, right they hold a big ass check, a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars donated to this person. Take pictures and everything. Yeah, yeah. Hey man, that's that's all vain, a vanity. Mm -hmm. Hey, the Lord is totally against that, man. Hey, the Lord is speaking against that right here. It says, "Take heed that ye do not your alms before men to be seen of them; otherwise, ye have no reward of your Father which is in heaven." There you go. You receive your constellation. Mm -hmm. You got what you wanted, like vainglory. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, mm -hmm. that they may have glory of men. See? Yep. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. And that's your reward. You want to be you basically just want the glory of men at that point when you, you want attention. Exactly. When you try, you want it to be known that you're giving this, you giving the big amount. I'm giving money. I'm giving tights. It should be something that you just do. You yeah. don't gotta announce it to everybody. Just come up, just you know, whoever the treasurer in your camp, just walk up to the bro, slide him the money. But that just goes to show that people that do that, that, that shows their motives. You exactly. Know? Yeah. It says, "But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth." Mm -hmm. That. So yeah. Right, so you should be giving it, it more so in secret. Like I said, don't not announcing it. All right. Like um like the scriptures as, as the prior said in verse two. All right. Pretty much doing it to be seen that everybody. You don't have to announce it. Just walk up to the brother. Just get like I said. Just slide on the money. You don't gotta make a big scene or nothing. Just on the, approach him on the side or whenever. You know. Yep. Just basically doing it in secret, man. Mm -hmm. Not to be seen to everybody. Just do it. Just walk up and get it to the brother. You don't. You don't gotta wait. Make sure you make an announcement. Yeah. Shalom, everybody. I'm giving tight. <laughs> hey, man, I got that check. Like, we counting up in front of brothers' faces and shit. Like, no, nah, just go up to the brother, <laughs> man. You know? Yeah, because cause this is all about your personal relationship with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You know? All right? That's what this is all about. The tights all right, are seeking out our own salvation. You know what I mean? Us being real with ourselves and being real with Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Mm-hmm. And, and and coming on down through the body, yeah. you know, it says that thine arms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. There you go. Yeah, how about Shimmy Shai? He's seeing it, and he's, he's going to be he's going to reward you openly, man. How's how is he rewarding you openly by the spirit, man? Yep. You know, increasing you in the spirit. All right, you might you might get it in a you, hey you might get a better job. You never know. It can be, it can, he can openly reward you in many ways, you know, yeah. get you many blessings as, as well as increasing you. And the main thing you should be focused on is getting increased in the spirit. Yeah. Not saying that he can't give you a better position that you're in right now. Hey, that could come along with it as well. Yet it all goes back to you giving alms with faith, man. All right. Because you truly believe and this is what you're supposed to be doing and it's what's required of you to do. You So you're just doing it just because of that, you know, not expecting everything. All right, just like Solomon said, this is fair. he didn't, he said, what did he ask for? He could have had, had anything. He asked for what? Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And yet, just because he had that mentality, he received everything along with that. So yep. that's the same mind frame you should be in when you're giving your alms and tights. And he asked the Lord secretly, mm -hmm. you know, and the Lord rewarded him what? Openly. Yep. Everybody seen the, uh, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord illuminated from him, mm -hmm. you know. And he was known as the wisest king. 
okay? Who, 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 uh, uh, for those that know, and, and if you can receive it, is indeed Yahweh Shai, man. You know, uh, uh, brother did a beautiful lesson on that the other week, man, going into the parallels of King Solomon yeah. and Yahweh Shai, okay? And that's the spirit, because I was thinking about um, um, in St. Matthew, you know, seek ye the kingdom first, and what? The rest will be added unto you. Yeah. You know, the rest will fall into place. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, that, that was the point on that. Um, uh, I had, um, got, got to like three more. Try okay. to hit. Okay. It's, uh, Sirach. Yep. Sirach, uh, 330. It says, water will quench a flame in fire, and alms maketh an atonement for sins. Mm. You know? So it's just another, it's just basically further confirmation that this makes an atonement for you. Go on for our, this is another way of making atonements for your sins, you know? As well as um, praying and fasting. Yep. Alms, this is one of the, and it, the other scripture I brought out mentioned that, all right, it's how prayer and fasting is good along with giving alms, man. Right. So alms is part of that part of that group with prayer, fasting, all right, and giving alms, man. That's a part of the living sacrifice. Exactly. Making our bodies a living uh, a living sacrifice, pretty much. Everything everything that we that we uh, uh that we uh, acquire, okay, all right. U ultimately, what we dedicate our lives to uh, to serving and worshiping and reverencing Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and, and what what's ours ultimately we understand it is it's 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 from the heavenly Father mm -hmm. and ultimately it, it belongs to the heavenly Father, you know the little money we have the little bullshit that ass little gigs we you know what I mean little slaveries we have whatever to get our daily food and raiment, yet uh, as well to what to give and tice and, and and to help out the body certain brothers may be down and out or whatever you know you're able to to uh, to to provide yep you know. Uh, you have more on that. I got a quick. I got a piece of matching right up with that. This is uh, First Peter chapter four, verse eight. Um. It says, "And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves." Mm -hmm. You know, showing that brotherly love towards each other. All right, a brother may be down and out. You know, excuse me, you may not be able to. Uh, you you may be out and about, can't afford. Until you go into the movies. Oh man, I'm white on a ticket or some food, you know, brother. I, ain't, I don't have that much food or whatever. I mean, you're able, you're able to what? To help, but they don't even worry about it, bro. I got you, you know. Don't even trip. All right, or whatever. And that's why we have the body. Mm -hmm. Or if a brother just uh needs, you know, a brother runs into a scenario. All right, that's why we have the tights for. Yeah. You know, it says, and above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves. For charity shall cover the multitude of sins. There you go. And that's another way of covering the multitude of sins as well. Is brotherly love. Mm -hmm. and like you said, it could be examples like that. You know, when a brother's down and out where he might need need financial, you know, help with his finances. Yep. Or you could just be there for a brother when he is down in the spirit. Yep, yep, you know, yep. being there for brothers in all aspects, really. Mm -hmm. Just showing brotherly, brotherly love, man. Because you can show love in many ways, man. Uplifting a brother, exhorting a brother, you know. That's right. Encouraging the brother, all right. Being there for the brother, yeah, being you know, there for him. Ultimately, hey, uh, that's the spirit. I'm a Lord as well. I try to find that that precept. Pretty much, when the disciples ask the Lord, "When have we clothed? When do we clothe thee?" Oh man, I'm gonna grab that through the spirit. Like you can, if you want to continue on. We see. When did we see? Matter of fact, can I please bring this out real quick? Go ahead. Um, I it just popped in my mind because when you're doing this. When you're when you're doing these uh, uh you know these things to a brother you have to you have to uh internalize that that hey, that this is one of the Lord's men okay the way you treat a brother is the same way you treat you're treating the Lord because this is his servant okay and the Lord set up he set that standard he washed he washed the feet of the disciples man okay uh uh um and he is uh, indeed uh the Lord and Savior you know all right, Yahweh's only begotten Son. Okay, and and he he was set um 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 how do you say setting setting an example you know when he was on the scene, and we are to follow the same example shown. Um, let me see what. Uh, mm. 
Well, yeah, I'll just, yeah, it is beautiful right here. St. Matthew, the 25th chapter, verse uh, 31. All right. It says, uh, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. You know, we're in a, we're in a time of uh, Yahweh Shai's return. Yeah. This is the year of Karagma. All right, this can very well be the year that Yahweh Shai returned, Lord's will, how things are, are, are looking and happening. It's, it's still, it's only, it's it's literally only the middle of January. The, char the chariot sighting was just seen. And it's only going to intensify, man. Prophecies are, are bubbling. Okay. It says, and before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, all right, which represents Israel, mm -hmm. chiefly the uh, the elect and the one third thereof, the chosen within the, uh, the chosen nation. But the goats on the left, okay, symbolizing what these other heathen nations, uh, starting with the uh, uh, Esau, okay, you know, I believe uh, Alexander the Creep, his uh, yeah. his symbol was um was a goat, you know, well it was a leopard, Salakia. Yeah, leopard. yet yet um the scriptures refers to um to Esau as the goat as well, you know. Uh, continuing on, verse 34, Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit uh, the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Yeah, because this is all about a, a predestination. You know, those who were actually chosen for salvation um, um, before the foundations were laid. Okay, the elect, those who were chosen. For at, for, this is the point, verse 35, for I was in hunger, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. All right. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Yep, there you go. You know? So when you're doing it to your brother... You looking out for a brother showing brotherly love. You doing it's the same thing as you showing love to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Basically, that's what it's saying. Because mm -hmm. we are, we are, we're all brothers, you know. Yahweh Shai is our big brother. So by us showing love to one another, that's the same as you showing love to Yahweh Shai, man. And that cover what? A, yep. a multitude of sins. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord, see, the Lord can recount that. Well, you know. This brother's been ministering my name. He's, he's been he's been showing charity towards the brothers in the Akyam. He's been paying his tights. He's been maintaining the faith. Yeah. All right. He's been doing what I have commanded him to do. He's been a faithful servant. You know. All right. And that 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 in turn will uh, uh will um uh, be a blessing unto you. Okay. Yeah. Ultimately, salvation. Mm-hmm. In which we're we're striving for, man. Yeah, that was, that was the point. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, I just had two more, and then we could wrap up. Right. Here's the Sirach twelve and three. It says, "There can no good come to him that is always occupied in evil, nor to him that giveth no alms." Mm -hmm. So don't expect any good to come unto you when you're not gifting out anything, man. How are you receiving when you didn't give anything? You know? That makes sense. It doesn't, it doesn't add up. All right? You're not doing anything. You're not giving anything to the Heavenly Father from your alms. That's part of what you're required to do, and you're not doing what's required of you at that point. Here, You might be doing everything else, yet you're not doing this one thing. It could be a, a, big, a big deal. Yep. You know, you're not sowing in the spirit, so you're not going to reap in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Which ultimately, like it says in Galatians six and seven on down, you're not going to reap life everlasting. You're not going to be saved. Yep. Ultimately, you know, you're not you're not investing. Yep. 
All right. And this last one I want to hit real quick. Yep. It's um Ciroc, thirty-five, and nine. Yeah, it says, in all thy gifts, show a cheerful countenance and dedicate thy tights with gladness. Yep. Don't give grudgingly, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't be all mad, like, man, I got to give tights, man. I could have I could have did this with this that 10%. I could have did that. Oh, this, this brother this brother owned me about the tights. Or, yeah, just being a demon, man. Yeah, how you, how you think that brother feel having to be on you about yeah, the that's, tights? Yeah, that's fucking, that's pathetic, man. That's, come on, man. That's sad. Mm-hmm. You know? All right, we shouldn't have to feel like I like want some Esau shit, man. Like, are right, you even paying your taxes? It's got to be like the IRS Tax evasion. Hit, hitting you up and everything. <laughs> called blowing your line up. Yeah. Hey, you, you've been behind on taxes, your taxes for this amount of months. And your tab at this is at this point. Like, man, it shouldn't be. We shouldn't have to do you like Esau be doing you, man. Blowing your line up, trying to trying well, to get you. Well, you see Esau, he'll jail your ass, man. Yeah. Ask, ask Lauren Hill. Ask Ryan Isley. Ask Wesley Snipes. Ask these niggas. Who haven't paid, who got caught up in, in, in tax evasion, all right? They holding back from Esau. Look what happened to them. So Esau ain't playing about his money. How much more than Heavenly Father, man? And we that's on a carnal back. level. Exactly. Like it says in Malachi, man, where has thou robbed, robbed the Lord? Mm -hmm. By Tyson offerings. Yep. You holding back. And the Lord know you holding back. That's the cold part about it. You know you holding back. Mm -hmm. Okay? And, and hey, man, it's, it's only, it's only, you only hurting yourself at the end of the day. It's yep. like it's like in the story of um uh and uh and acts you know um um uh so like I forgot uh I, the name escapes me and and Ananias and um matter of fact I, I'll let you finish that no, I was done on that oh okay cool yeah we're going into the story oh yeah that's the spirit that's why I started right here yeah that's why well let's just go to the story let the scripture speak for itself we can start in Acts um chapter four. Let me see a cool little place to build upon it. Um, yep, yep. Acts chapter 4, verse 32. You know, it's going to lead into chapter 5. You know what I mean? The point. So this Acts 4 and 32. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Yeah, that was all the same agreement. Okay? Same faith, same judgment, same spirit. Like we're supposed to be mm -hmm. one body. Neither said any of them that ought... Of the things which he possessed was his own. See? But they had all things common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Yahweh Shai. And great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them. And, and brought the prices of the things that were sold. And laid them down at the apostles feet. And description, uh, and distrib uh, distribution was made unto every man according as he had need. Mm -hmm. And 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 um, Joseph, who by the apostles was named, uh, was surnamed Barnabas, which is being interpreted the son of constellation, a Levite, and of the country of uh, uh, Cyprus, having land, sold it and bought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Okay, okay. Let's let's, let's go and go into the story of of those who was with, withholding from the body. Mm -hmm. Verse uh, chapter five, verse one. But a certain man named Ananias, with uh, so, so, uh, Sapphira, his wife, sold a possession and kept back part of the price. His wife also being privy to it, and brought a certain part and laid it at the apostles' feet. But Peter said, Ananias, why have Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Spirit and to keep back part of the price of the land? There you go. While it remained, was it not thine own? And after it was sold, was it not in thine own power? Why hast thou conceived this thing in thine heart that has not lied unto men? But unto the most high. And that's exactly what you're doing when you hold him back and you, you're not giving anything. You're not you're not holding it back from us. You're holding back from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You're lying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai when you're saying you don't have anything to give. Yeah, you're defrauding the Lord. Yeah, you're defrauding the Lord. And you like your brother said, you're not hurting anybody but yourself, because ultimately that's what it's gonna to do to you by not 
refusing to not ever give anything or just not giving nothing, period. The scriptures, we didn't brought out plenty of scriptures, precepts, man. It's going into if you, the more you have, the more you should give to the little you have, give accordingly to that little that you have, man. So it's no, did the scripture, did we bring out any precepts saying that it's an excuse to not give alms? No. Even in the one precept the brother brought out, the, the lady, the, she gave that yeah, the little, the little, little, the, all that she all had, that which she was had. not like she literally gave the little last that nothing. she had. Yeah, which was 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 more, which was more, uh, uh, which was really yeah more than everything else that everybody else gave. The abundance of the rich. Yep, because mm -hmm. they still had money left over for themselves. She gave the last that she actually had, man. That yep. shows you how much faith she actually had more faith than everybody else at that point because they still they kept the money for themselves still. Yeah, they was gave him money, but she gave the last, the actual last that she had, man. Yeah, that was that was a more, um, how do you say? That was that was shown as more more of an act of faith, mm -hmm. you know, than than though than those men, because she sac she literally sacrificed everything that she had. Yep. You know, through faith. Okay. Uh, yeah, I read this part. Let's to see the judgment mm -hmm. that happened, man. Okay. Um, verse five. And Ananias, hearing these words, fell down and gave up the ghost. The spirit and great fear came on all of them that heard these things. Yeah. And that's basically from doing what the, what, was, what caused all that to happen. The, all the way back to the point of not giving, giving tithes, man. Holding back yep. from, the, from the Heavenly Father. And lying. Not lying unto men, but you lying unto Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Yeah. So ultimately, it's gonna come back and hurt you. You didn't see them; they wasn't tripping about it. Hey, you didn't lie. They said you didn't lie into us. You lied into the heavenly Father. And the Lord just killed, took the spirit from right there on the spot. Mm -hmm. Hey, so you wondered, like I was saying earlier, you wonder why you in bad predicaments and everything. Hey, man, the judgment's falling upon you because you're holding back. Yep, that's right. You got a, something else? Yeah, we can we can close out on this through the spirit. I I kept referring to it. All right, Galatians six and seven. You know, um, this is Galatians 6 and 7. Be not uh, deceived, the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall the Spirit reap life everlasting. Yep, and that's part of you sowing to the Spirit by you giving alms, man. All right. Yep, it says, and let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. There you go. So you're gonna reap, all right, with the what you're sowing. And whether it be financially, more so you should be focused on reaping spiritually, especially yeah. in these times that we're in. Straight and up. we're entering into. All right, you should be more just like brothers should be more on fire doing more work. Hey, you should be giving more alms as well, along with doing more work, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because that's part of it as well. Like the scriptures say, prayer, fasting, and alms, man. As long as doing being fervent in the spirit, man. That's right. All right. Be not weary in well doing. That's part of well doing. You giving alms, that's part of you doing well good things, man. Being a brother, right. you know, charity. Mm hmm it, it, it's a uh, it's a it branches out. Yeah. To yeah, a lot yeah, of kinda, things. Kinda, that's the one. It's an umbrella, man. Yeah. It's a big umbrella, man. Just like a, a tree that's real big, it has lots of different branches that just spread out all different type of ways. That's how just this, this well doing is, man. Being being having charity, all these different things, it all falls under the same tree, man. Yep. All right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's um, that's that's pretty much the point through the, through the spirit. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So with that, Lord willing, the lesson was edifying, and we we want to give our praises again to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Hawrakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, and Shalom Wam taught Akim out there preaching his word, truth, sincerity. Right, Shalom Wam. Shalom Wam.